Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another fall haul, and yes, another one, because the one I posted before was kind of like a intro to fall, beginning of fall haul, but I do have some kind of trends to talk to you guys about. So I did a video kind of like this last year where I did like a haul that also talked about some of the trends that were going on for that season. Um, like every other girl in America, I'm obsessed with fall and layering and just fall fashion and everything. It's beautiful and there's so many sales and deals and codes out and it's just like, I have to stop shopping because I'm gonna go broke and that's not good, right? No. <laughs> um, so anyways, I wanted to talk about some trends like I said and I'm going to be um, showing you guys some of the things that I've picked up recently. So let me start with the only pair of shoes that I've gotten so far, um, you know, fall related. And last week Piper Lime was having a code. If you don't know what Piper Lime is, it is like the sister online store of Gap, Old Navy, and Banana Republic, but they actually carry um, all different types of brands. Like they carry like Michael Kors. Maybe like think about designers you might find at Nordstrom. Um, very similar to that you can find on Piper Lime. Um, and they were having a 20% 20, 20 off code all of their, um, and basically their entire site. They only had a few weird exclusions. And I decided to take the plunge on a pair of shoes. So these are the beauties I decided to take the plunge on. Um, they are beautiful, kind of a pointed-ish toe. Um, just very short, casual boots. Um, I definitely plan on wearing these to the office. Sorry, my lighting is very, very weird. Um, I love that they have these beautiful gold buckles. I think that these would be super useful for when I travel for work. I'm going to Chicago, I'm going to New York again. I just could see these as an everyday shoe, wearing to the office with either, um, you know, I wear my pixie pants a lot. I can wear these with um, a dress and tights too. Um, I really, really like these boots. Also, I can just see myself wearing these with jeggings and a like, loose sweater when it comes to more of like the relaxed weekend look. I absolutely love these. They're so gorgeous. I just, I've been eyeing these for like over a month and they're not that expensive. They're only like a little bit over a hundred without the code. Um, I think that they're like 130 or maybe like 128 or something like that. Um, but I was actually able to get these shipped, I think for like $108 or something like that. And you know, for me, boots, I'd rather spend a little bit more. I've kind of learned that the hard way, you know, shoes are, for me, I would rather not get super cheap shoes. I don't obviously buy like $500 shoes all the time, but something like this that is super sturdy and super pretty and just really gorgeous and not that expensive. I'm just talking about a hundred dollars. Um, but I really, really like these and I plan on wearing them a lot. Um, so I'm really excited and I will link everything down below. Um, something to add also is a few times I've gotten some comments lately on, um, like asking me where I got a product. Um, if I am like, I'm always scatterbrained, like I am pretty ADD, um, so sometimes I forget to like say the brand or something of a product, but know that I do take the time and I link every single product down below um, in the like information bar. So if you're ever kind of looking for um, a product that I mention and you can't find it, you can't remember the name, um, go back to my video and look down below because I always list all of the products that I have purchased or hauled or talk about in a favorites video, just FYI. So another trend that I want to talk to you guys about well, I guess I didn't really talk about a trend. I just talked about a pair of boots. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is the leather detailing trend that I guess is not really a trend. I mean, I feel like this has been around at least for two falls or maybe more. Um, not necessarily a full-blown leather jacket, which is always classic and is always appropriate for fall and winter um, and even early spring. But this is more, you know, doing leather detailing on pants, on blazers, on shirts. Um, kind of where you wouldn't necessarily expect the leather. You know, everyone expects a leather jacket, but maybe no one expects a leather t-shirt. <laughs> um, this is actually from Target. This was only, I think, $17. It was so inexpensive. It was $17.99, which is, I guess, $18. But it is a long sleeve, faux leather, obviously, panel t-shirt. In the back, it is very jersey material. I wouldn't necessarily call it a t-shirt. It's a jersey material, something that you might see, you know, um, I don't know. It's not super casual. I actually plan on wearing this to the office with like pixie pants and boots. Um, I don't really think that this is too crazy or too out there. 
Um, I've been looking for a shirt that had leather detailing. I think this is pretty classic. It's actually really nice quality. I wish you guys could kind of see this more detailed, but it honestly is really great quality. When I saw it, I was like, I'm super impressed. Um, I got it oversized because I wanted it to be long enough where I could wear it with pixie pants, so I got the large in this, and it's very, very loose fitting and kind of swingy, and I really, really like it. Um, I would definitely recommend this if it's in your Target. I think this would look super, super cute, like I was saying, to, to wear to the office um, with like a thick knit pant. I could also see this tucked in into a little like cute pencil skirt. Um, with some heels. I think that would look super cute. And these are the J. Crew Pixie Pants with the leather paneling on the side. So think about the J. Crew Pixie Pants, which are like the very, very, very skinny pant um, that are almost like a legging, but they're very, very thick and they're, they're a pant material. Um, this with this and some killer stilettos, girl, you would look so good. And that is a plan outfit that I have for I don't know when I'm planning on wearing that outfit but I'm going to I'll definitely check out your local Target store because they have super cute things all in store right now and I'm actually wearing a shirt from there right now and it's super cute and I'll try to show it to you guys more like a heathered gray material here and then this part is navy chiffon and it's actually navy chiffon all the way in the bottom um, I don't know if maybe I'm gonna try to show it to you guys so this is what the bottom looks like. It has like this chiffon paneling and it's super long so it looks really good with the pixie pants that I have on right now. Honestly, when it comes to like a trendier item, why go out and spend like $90 on a shirt where you could spend like $30 on it? For me, that's worth it. Um, I find that Target has really good quality shirts and um, work clothes. I do get some of my work clothes from there so I definitely recommend Target if you're kind of um, expanding a work business casual wardrobe it's definitely a go-to for me so i showed you guys the pixie pants and i wanted to show you guys exactly what they look like they're a you know stretchy pant up here i got the same size that i have in the pixie pants um i think i've talked about it before i feel like they run the pixie pants run um a little bit big so i'm usually a size eight at the bottom and i get the, a size six in the pixie pants and they honestly like they do stretch and they form to your body so Try. I would try them on before ordering um, because I know when I first tried it on, I tried on the 8 and I was like, mm, I feel like I could do the 6 and I only get the 6 in these and um, I really, really like these. You know, I think that they're super cute. I love that it's not in your face leather because I have faux leather leggings, but obviously I'm not going to wear that every day. I'm not going to wear faux leather leggings to the office, you know, full frontal leather. Um, I personally, in my office, I can get away with these. I work in media, so it's not like I'm working, you know, for a big finance firm or something where it would be frowned upon to wear leather detailing. Um, I personally see myself wearing these with like long blouses, like even just the blouse I have on today with booties, um, long blouses with little boots, or also like when it gets a little bit colder out, I like to wear like very like kind of thin but comfy sweaters that are long like kind of tunic sweaters I love getting those at like always um, Banana Republic or Gap or Nordstrom they'll have those types of sweaters that are very like thin so it's not adding a lot of bulk I got these during the J. Crew sale that was also last week but I got them in store they were 25% off originally I think they're like one 70 which is a lot I think for the pants I wouldn't really have paid that for it it is a little bit of a stretch even getting them for over a hundred dollars but in my defense I had really been wanting them and I think that they're really really good quality I even think that this is real leather I think 100% leather trim so that is probably why they're that expensive definitely will probably be lasting me a while and I really like them. I picked up a new pair of jeans and I have not gotten like nice designer jeans probably in over a year and a half. I think yeah because I can't even remember the last time I bought, I bought a pair of like designer jeans. So I ended up ordering these from Nordstrom which is where I actually have a Nordstrom card which actually works out better because it's kind of like you get money for spend for like purchasing stuff there and these are Joe Jeans the skinny um, I got them in my regular size, and let's see, it just says the classic, timeless, elegant, pure, unforgettable, effortless, graceful, and iconic. They are 
very, very stretchy, you guys can see, but they form really, really great to your body. If you have ever tried the Citizens um, Jeggings, which is like the Avedon, imagine these, these are as like comfortable and stretchy, but I feel like they're a little bit thicker, so I don't see them really being, what do you call it, like, my, my Citizens one I had for like over a year, like I had it for like a year and a half, and I wore them to death, and then they just like ended up ripping right here in the crotch, so that's another reason why I got these at Nordstrom, because Nordstrom, if anything happens to them, they're so good about taking things back, especially if it's something like very like, you know, high quality, they're just a really nice jegging, they like form really well to your leg, and they actually are so like, Form fitting that they make your legs look really good too. Recommend these for anyone. Um, I don't really have a butt, so I don't know um, if you're kind of just like more narrow at the bottom. I would recommend these a lot. They're super comfortable, and I really really like them. So I only have a few more things to talk about, and I wanted to kind of talk about transitioning summer dresses into fall. Um, I actually picked up this. One and it's by Mink Pink and I wore it already which is why it has a red wine stain on it because I wore it to my friend's party over this past weekend. Um, it's just a t-shirt dress. It's very 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 simple. Something like this is awesome because you can wear this with tights and boots or with tights and flats with a little sweater over it. You can layer this with a leather jacket. You can even wear this with like a cool patterned tight cool pattern tights and heels to go out in. I really, really like this and I'm really glad I picked it up. Um, it was only $60, so not very, very expensive, um, but I really like this too. I also um, got this really pretty free people florally, capey, drapey dress um, from Nordstrom and I love this dress too. This is, I mean, when you look at it, you're probably like, why or did you buy that? That's very summery. I got it on sale, which means it was probably from the summer collection, but um, just to give you guys an idea, to wear this in the fall, what I would do is wear tights and booties and a leather jacket on top. I think that would look super, super cute. Um, I would also wear this maybe going out when it still hasn't really transitioned into winter yet. I can see myself just wearing this without tights, um, with some really, really nice heels and a leather jacket on top too. Um, it's kind of low cut, I will tell you guys that, but I'll link it down below because it's still on sale. And I think they have all the sizes on Nordstrom still available, so really like this too. Next I got a few sweaters. Uh, I got this really cute one from Nordstrom, and I actually got this from the BP section, and it's one of those really just like drapey, really comfortable sweaters, and I didn't have one in black, like I have one in navy, I have one in gray and one in beige, and I was like, I need to pick up a black one, and this is only $30, I think, from the BP section, so I'm glad I got that. Super, super cute, drapey, comfortable. It's kind of jersey-ish material, too, so it's not like something you would I would consider a sweater sweater, um, but I really like this, and this is something that you can totally wear every single day, kind of over anything. You can wear this over dresses over just like a t-shirt and jeans or a blouse and a pencil skirt, something like that. Um, it's kind of a very versatile piece that is a very basic element to any girl's wardrobe. The last thing I want to talk about is a chunky knit um, and how to make them kind of flatter your figure, especially if you're a fuller busted girl like I am. Um, I'm definitely top heavy, so I kind of stay away from short chunky sweaters. You love that look. I think it looks super cute, but just because I don't like the way it looks on me, I don't tend to wear that. Um, but I picked up this really cute kind of waterfallish cardigan from Urban. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but it is super, super cute. It's black and white, and I've been wanting a cardigan like this for a while. Um, this, honestly, I was like, I need this because I would love to wear this like when I'm on the airplane, when it gets super, super like chilly on my flights. This is like one of those like wrap around ones that you could wear. Um, but another thing about this is you could just layer this um, with like leggings and a tunic and it would look super cute too. I want to show you guys a few jewelry pieces that I've accumulated. One is one that I'm wearing right now. This is a J. Crew necklace. I love J. Crew's jewelry. So while they were having their sale last week, I picked up two necklaces. I got this one and one that I'm about to show you. So this is the other J. Crew necklace I got and it's so pretty, you guys. Um, it is beautiful kind of jeweled tones. It has like 
maybe violet, navy, and some pearl, like pink pearled. Um, love this. I love that it's not too much that I could totally wear this again to the office. Um, and the same goes for this one. I wanted to pick up two of the J. Crew necklaces because they don't really ever go on sale, especially 25% off. So I took the plunge. These are not one of the ones that are like super expensive. This one was 50 and I think that one was 60. So with the sale, they were definitely discounted. Um, another thing that I got, you know, I feel like you can't really say that jewelry is a trend um, because I feel like it's especially stuff from like J. Crew, super timeless. Um, but in the fall and in the winter, I do like to wear more necklaces, more statement necklaces, because I feel like in the summer, it gets so hot, and you're kind of like, oh, like, I don't want to wear anything like choking me or anything like that. I usually stick to more daintier things in the summer. Um, but this is kind of dainty, and I wanted to show this to you guys, too. I got this from Urban. It was only $10, and it's a little circle necklace, and it's kind of big. Um, so this would even look cute layered together. I think that I'm going to do that tomorrow because that's super cute. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing. I have all these random new subscribers and I'm just like, oh my gosh, why are you subscribing to me? Like, that's awesome. <laughs> thank you for watching and um, please subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I have all my social media things linked down below. I have a blog that you can check out. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.